Let's do this thing. I'm committed to it now. We must get it done. And yes! There we go! <laughs> I did it! Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Trail Makers. Now, today is going to be an exciting day because Steam Workshop support has been released for this game. And with that, we're going to be checking out some of the coolest creations that the creative community has made. And now we have Steam Workshop to do that. So back before Steam Workshop, I'd have to go to a bunch of different forums and whatnot and look at each creation myself. Now there's a voting system on Steam Workshop, obviously, where you can vote for some of your favorite ones. And it's going to show some of the best at the top. So I downloaded a bunch of those and we're going to be checking them out today. For example, this house was one of them and I'm not sure why because look at that roof guys look at it are you as mad as I am this thing is totally off center and uh, slightly frustrating but I'm not gonna be bothered by it we also got another little guy down here this is what I wanted to show you guys uh, this is a little plane doesn't look too good right now but let's actually set it up and uh, see if we can take this thing off and uh, start this off right so yes look at it isn't it adorable oh god don't hit that all right but this is actually a very good plane let's see if we can uh, do some crazy stuff here. Yeah, no problem at all. Do a loop and don't stall it. Don't stall it. We're okay. Let's actually, now that I think about it, this is a way better idea. Let's uh try and crash into our house here. Oh god, this is a uh, okay, it's hard. It's, it's a very small target. So hopefully, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, Jesus! Okay. Well, I didn't expect it to go that way, but that was pretty cool too. All right, this one's going to go much better. You watch. I'm aiming right for it. Damn it. This is it. Come on. Really? Holy crap, I'm still going. I'm still going. Lift off, lift off. All right, I'm going in for another hit. I think I just lost my exhaust. That's really not that big of a deal. I wonder if I can dive bomb it here. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And it did basically the same thing, but at least I hit it that time. That felt good. See you later, house. It was, it was nice knowing you. Oh, it's vanishing. Okay, goodbye. All right, but today is going to be a lot of that. Checking out some awesome creations. Now, I will say the Steam Workshop's only been out for like a week. So there's a lot of, you know, what you would expect, you know, planes, buggies, things like that. But they're very unique as well. You got to remember, this is a voting system. So we're going to see some of the best ones right now. And obviously, as the Steam Workshops gets older and older, there'll be some more crazy stuff going in on it. So let's just go through a few of these things. Looks like we got some sort of dragon here. Let me remember what this thing is. All right. So yes, this is the Crystal Dragon, probably one of the coolest things I've seen in terms of looks. Hopefully, uh, it actually walks as good as it looks. So it looks like I can... Ooh! I, okay, that's just playing with my dorsal fins. That's kind of weird. Okay, we'll keep them out like that. Oh! Oh, God! Okay, uh... What? There? Okay, so it's kind of like a crawling dragon. I didn't expect that, but basically it farts out fire, and uh, I think we can actually take off with this thing. So let's try this out. Oh, this is really actually kind of cool. So, oh God, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, just getting used to dr driving a dragon. Hold on, oh God, there, I've, I've broken a lot of things. At least we can spit out fire. And it's actually kind of working, you know? I, I, I took off a few pieces, but in, I'm still able to actually fly this thing. So yes, you can actually see the dragon secret if I do a backflip here. It's got wheels underneath it. So I thought it was gliding. No, it's just wheels. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, tr trying to deal with only having two hands, it kind of sucks with a game like this because there's too many buttons on this thing. Oh God, it's not lifting. Oh, damn it. Now we got to deal with piranhas. Go away. All right, so that's pretty damn cool. We have uh, our first dragon in the game. Let's see if we can take it off a little bit better this time and not totally destroy this thing. There we go. And now it actually has all its pieces on it. But I will say it's very slow at turning and everything. I mean, I've, I've never flown a dragon before, so I, I don't know how hard they are. But uh, this one is definitely not easy. You know what? Let's see if we can land on this little thing. So we're going to turn that off a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, I landed on it. The, the dragon didn't really. And this is supposed to be one of the fastest boats in the game. So it's actually called Competitive Speedboat. And I guess it's beating a lot of world records. So we're going to give this thing a shot and see how fast it is. It's supposed to be able to go... Uh, what did it say? Up to 421 kilometers an hour. So, or whatever it is, miles, kilometers, doesn't really matter, but it can go 421 
by far the fastest creation we've ever seen. Let's get this nice and straight and see how stable this thing is. My god, you know what? I'm gonna try and do a jump here. See what happens. Woo! Okay! Yeah, this thing is definitely the fastest that we've seen and... I'm scared. So what's interesting about this one is usually speedboats use uh, jets to churn, but this one's actually using just a spinning gimbal and... Uh, damn it. Okay, it's dead now. But yeah, as you can see on top of it, let's get some speed up here so we don't uh, sink into the water. It actually uses a spinning gimbal on the front to churn it, and that's probably why this thing's so good. A, a lot of Besiege creations use this as well. Very easy to churn, as you can see, I can basically uh, sideswipe this whole thing and uh, really get a fast churn going on. I want to try a fast jump, though. That's, uh, I really wish there was like a jump on the water. I don't think there is on this map. But I gotta say, this is a damn impressive boat. Here we go. A little bit of a jump there. It's actually... What? Come on, that was a good landing, damn it. But yeah, for its speed, I have to say this is one of the easiest things to uh, drive. I mean, it is just so fast. And the fact that I can actually control this somewhat when I'm not intentionally trying to jump it uh, is damn impressive. Can we still... Oh yeah, we can still totally do it. Even when you lose some pieces. Okay, it's actually not acting perfectly, but good enough to me. All right, but we got lots to show today, so let's move on and move to the next one. Uh, I guess we don't have a choice now. Next up, we got the dickhead of the insect world, an animatronic wasp. And uh, it looks as cool as the dragon. I'm hoping... Is this an ornithopter? It looks like these wings actually move. So let's try this thing out here. I need to toggle lift generation and animatronic movement. So... Oh, uh... Okay. I mean, it's making noise. It's kind of moving. Oh my god. Look at it. It's pincers open and close. It, it reacts kind of like a wasp, you know? All right, but we need to generate tail thrust and... Okay, so very similar to uh, the dragon. It's actually, is it made by the same guy? I, I feel like it should be because it's very, very similar. Unfortunately, it isn't an ornithopter. I thought it would be, but uh, still... Oh my god, look, 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 at it. look at its little uh, antenna. When I turn, it puts one in the front, one in the back, and that's actually the exhaust on this thing. I mean, look how cool this thing is, though. So yeah, I think it's actually hovering, guys, and this is giving me time to turn and get back into the main stadium. So, yeah, really cool looking wasps. I'm just waiting for the day when ornithopters make their way into trail makers as well. Maybe there is one, I don't know, but uh, it, unfortunately these two were not it. That's not to say they're bad though, because this is damn impressive. Now what happens if I press the H button? I actually don't know how to go down. It's really good at hovering, but it's not very good. Oh god. Oh, what did I do? Okay, okay, let's just keep it stable. There we go, I dropped the stabilizers. Let's see if we can actually get some speed and... Oh no, this is, this is not able to do it. It needs to have stabilization on. Oh god, turn it back on! Turn it back on! Come on, little wasp! Oh! And you're dead. Well, I don't think this is gonna work. I was hoping it would. I think this thing is a little bit too big, but obviously we got a huge cargo jet here. And I was gonna put a centipede on it, but uh, damn it, the centipede's too big, I think, guys. All right, so let's uh, let's find something that actually can. Oh my god, there's just too much going on. I'm sorry about the noise, by the way. I cannot stop that. It, it, it's humping the ground, and there's nothing I can do about that. That thing might actually fit. I have no idea what this thing is, so uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I can put in here. What is... What the hell is this thing? Oh god. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, well, I had to make my own little guy. I don't even know if this will freaking fit, and this is as small as I can get my things, but, uh, yeah, you know what? I think this is kind of made just to fit the smallest creation you can get. Now, my goal is to obviously take this thing out when we're in the air. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting her in there, damn it. Ha! That didn't work. Oh, this is, this is my nightmare, dude. This... <laughs> It's those little plates. I'm hitting the damn plates on the damn thing. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, am I in? Get in there! Come on. Yes! Okay, I don't know if we'll be able to get it out, but we got it in, damn it. And I do not want to touch it ever again. Now that I think about it, how the hell am I going to get in that thing when I'm inside here? At least we can close it up. But uh, when I jump out of this, yeah, unfortunately... Actually, I got an idea. But this is probably going to end badly because I need to go to the build mode. What if I flip the cockpit around? Maybe I'll jump inside the thing. I'm hoping it works that way. All right, now that it's backwards... Damn it! Okay, I'm going to have to... Uh... Man, I really want to do this too. It's going to bother me if I won't be able to do this. But if we maybe put it further in, we might be good. And if we just edit it a little bit. That's, that's not a good noise. 
All right, so if we... Damn it! I'm not gonna be able to do it, man. I am not gonna be able to jump inside the cargo inside this thing. But we're gonna bring cargo with us anyways, because that sounds really, really fun. That's a little bit of a bummer, though. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much! All right, you know what? I broke my car one time too many. Let's just take this thing off, because we haven't even really tried that yet, and see if it can indeed fly. Oh, God, I'm trying to turn it. Trying to turn it. I don't think it's going to be fast enough. I don't even know where I could go to get the speed to take this thing off. You can see, I mean, I'm hitting the ground like crazy here. It is not going fast at all. 84 is not fast enough. Uh, well, now I'm in a predicament. What do I do with this thing? <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to get back to that big plane later. It's supposed to be able to take off. It's actually the biggest creation you can make in game. Now we're in uh, the gyro car, as you can see. I don't know what, well, besides the fact that it's a really cool gyro, I don't think this thing does really anything else, but it, it, it's fun. I mean, as you can see, when I go forward, uh, we start gyroing. So let's actually, oh God. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted. There we go. Everybody gets sick now. It's gonna be great. We should probably see where we're going. Oh, God. Okay. And that's what happens when you try and drive a freaking gyro car. Can't stop me. I'm still going, bitches. Now, I did want to go back to this because this is actually a decent walker. It's definitely not gonna win any uh, land speed contest. As you can see, it has a stable... Uh, speed of between one and two kilometers an hour. But hey, if you just want to enjoy the day and uh, be a bug, quite literally, you can totally do that in uh, Trail Makers now. Isn't that great? And I gotta say, this is awesome because this is like the first actual walker that I've seen in Trail Makers. And it's a step in the right direction. Gotta love those antennas as well. I love the attention to the detail. I mean, those lights on the ground are just awesome. And of course, we have the tail as well flailing about. So. Yeah, you can't really do too much with this, unfortunately, but it is a legit walker. All right, and next up, we just got an ordinary jet. This is called the Peregrine Jet, and uh, it's supposed to be one of the most fastest and stable jets out there. Oh my god, they changed this. Oh, this isn't good. What am I going to do? Can we land it? That's the bigger question. All right, hold on. Stabilize, stabilize. Get, it, get away from the wall. Get away, get away, get away. Ah! Well, at least we're not dead. But, uh, we are stuck in a hard space. All right, but I just wanted to show you guys a legit good little jet here. So, uh, this is definitely one of those. And let's try that again. Oh, I just love this crack here. Let's see if we can get through it this time. Oh, oh, nope. Third time's a charm. Let's do this thing. I'm committed to it now. We must get it done. And yes, there we go. <laughs> I did it. Finally. Uh, with this cool little thing. You know what? Let's try and do something more crazy. Uh, is this a dead end? No, we could actually... Oh, God. Oh! Oh, no! Damn it! Okay, well, I am definitely not a stunt pilot, guys, but I tried my best. All right, guys, and on that, I think this is a good time to end off another episode of the very awesome Trail Makers. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out the Steam Workshop creations. Now, like I said, it's only been out for a week, so there's a lot of really cool stuff here, obviously, but there's going to be a lot more fun stuff later on. Where the hell am I? Oh, God. I'm, I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. This isn't, this isn't safe. This, damn it! Ah, oh, I just didn't have enough turn to do that. That would have been so cool if we did that upside down, though. Anyways, like I said, guys, we're going to wrap up this one here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, checking out some of the Steam Workshop creations. And, uh, yeah, if you guys plan on uploading anything and if you want to see it on the channel, best way to get my attention is just put my name somewhere in the description or the title of the uh, creation, and I will search for my name every time I do another Trailmakers episode. So, yeah, we'll wrap it up here, guys. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.